Members, we have special guests from Lodi today. They will be recognized by members Cooper, Eggman, and Olson. We'll begin with Mr. Cooper from Mr. O'Donnell's desk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to celebrate and congratulate the Lodi Wine Grape Commission and all the Lodi vintners and wine grape growers for being selected as the wine region of the year. In 1990, Lodi was home to only eight wineries, although the first major wine vineyard was planted more than 150 years ago. Lodi is now home to over 85 wineries and more than 11,000, excuse me, 110,000 acres of wine grapes consisting of more than 100 wine grape varieties and has distinguished itself as one of the nation's major wine grape growing regions. Members, I'm going to ask you keep your conversations to a minimum. Please give your attention to Mr. Cooper. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Lodi region accounts for approximately 20% of California's total wine grape production. Lodi is known as the Zinfandel capital of the world. Lodi produces more wine grapes than Napa, and Napa wines contain Lodi grapes, Mr. Dodd. <laughs> it is my honor to recognize, along with my colleagues, Assembly Members Eggman, Olson, as well as Senator Galgiani, the Lodi Wine Grape Commission, for being recognized as the Wine Grape Region of the Year in 2015. And that's the entire world. Congratulations. I am so proud to represent the Lodi Wine Region. Today, we have here with us Lodi Mayor Mark Chandler and representatives from the Lodi Wine Grape Commission and the California Association of Wine Grape Growers, as well as several of the region's prestigious wineries. Please welcome me in enjoying the Lodi Wine Grape Commission. Ms. Eggman, you are recognized and Ms. Olson will also speak. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I also like to stand to recognize these great uh, individuals. And I like to say they are not only leaders in the wine industry, but they are leaders in their community. Uh, the agriculture community is incredibly important to San Joaquin County and what we do, our economy. They serve on boards, they're active in 4-H, they're active in everything that makes a community great. Uh, the Lodi region has been growing wine since 1850. Uh, when the 49ers came across, they needed something to drink, and Lodi was there then, and we remain there now. And it's nice that the world has now recognized the wines that we produce, as well as the grapes that are, that are used all over California to help produce great wines. Uh, and thanks, members, for turning your attention over here now, because I know when we're tasting a little bit later, you'll all want to be front and center. Thank you. Ms. Olson, you are also recognized on the Thank platform. you, Mr. Speaker and members. Just wanted to echo the comments, welcoming several of my constituents here with the Lodi, Lodi Wine Grape Growers Association. They are outstanding members of our community, the best Zinfandels in the entire world. So come join us down in Lodi, but also join us at 4.30 this afternoon in room 317 for a fantastic tasting of all sorts of wine from the best wine region for Zinfandels in the world.
Okay, members. Mr. Gibson has guests with us today. Members, please give your attention to Mr. Gibson. Mr. Gibson, you are recognized. Thank you very much. Good morning, Mr. Speaker and members. I would like to recognize some esteemed guests from the faith-based community in Los Angeles who are here today um, up in the gallery. They will be visiting their prospective representatives to discuss gun violence with the intent to have a conversation about real solutions and to better understand the workings of the legislature um, and to improve public safety. Members, would you please welcome the faith-based community from the city of Los Angeles. Mr. Asajian, you have your additional guests with us today in the Assembly. You are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. It gives me great pleasure in asking you to join me in welcoming Professor Mark Shelton and the Agriculture Leadership Class from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, who are up here in the gallery. Would you please all stand up? The students are here today to discuss and learn about the issues affecting California's egg industry. Again, please welcome this bright group of students. Mr. Mays, you are recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, request a Republican caucus in the Rules Committee room. Mr. Mays is asking for a Republican caucus. Republican caucus members.